Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2021 Bowman Baseball 6 box uh, random team number 2 from jazbeescasebreaks.com you get one Chase the Mantle entry is going to be given away at the end no paper ships uh, except unless it's numbered of course we'll still ship those big thanks to this group for making it happen appreciate you there are the teams right here let's roll it let's randomize names and teams 2 and a 2 for the hard way 1 Two, three, four. Got Darren down at Devin. And then two and a two for the hard way for the teams. One, two, three, and four. Mets down to Rays. All right, Darren, you got the Mets. David with the Braves. Simon with the Diamondbacks. David with the Mariners. James with the Yankees. David with the Astros. Michael with the Cubs. Jamie with the Brewers. Michael with the Cardinals. Harry with the Pirates and the A's. Brent with the Guardians. Matthew with the Nationals. Tristan with the Marlins. Josh with the Giants. Sean with the Royals. David with the Angels. Tristan with my Dodgers. Chris with the Blue Jays. Albert with the Red Sox. Tara with the uh, with the Reds, Tristan with the Phillies, Michael with the White Sox and Rockies, Alan with the Rangers, Devin with the Orioles, Josh with the Padres, Tristan, Last Spot Mojo, Tigers, Sean with the Twins, and Devin Hoover with the Tampa Bay Rays. So let's alphabetize by baseball team, alphabetically. Alphabetize, that's how alphabetization works, alphabetize alphabetically. And uh, there is a list right there. We're going to pause the video. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades. And then we'll have the break. So stick around. We'll see you on the other side. All right. TWC in the chat. Trade window closed. And here we go. Random team two on a Monday. Tristan with Last Spot Mojo Tigers. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Appreciate you. And here we go, second half of the case. First half, I don't, saw a little bit of color, saw some autographs, but I don't know if we really saw any earth shattering names being pulled in the first half. So not, not that it's guaranteed in the second half, but one can hope. I think, uh, Almost all games are a final. On a Monday, June 10th, 2024, doing some 2021. Brewers beat the Blue Jays three to one. Jackson Churio with a home run. Maybe he's starting to heat up a little bit. Yankees beat the Royals four to two. Juan Soto back in the lineup. Got a single in his first at bat. Twins uh, shut out the Rockies 5-0. Royce Lewis homer. Minnesota has some prospects. I feel like they just got to stay healthy. Uh, Orioles beat the Rays 5-2. Gunnar Henderson hits 21st home run. On the very first pitch of the game. Rays only managed five hits. Two runs. And there are three games still in progress. Top of the ninth, Astros are in San Francisco. They're tied at one apiece. A's are in San Diego. Padres are leading three to one. Middle of the seventh, going into the bottom of the seventh. Bottom of the eighth, Mariners are trailing the White Sox. White Sox are at 4-1, but Mariners have the bases loaded. No outs in the bottom of the eighth. Maybe uh, maybe MLB Network has updates on this, this situation here. I've seen Thor Ragnarok. I know what happens. MLB Network is just regional coverage. All right, maybe does the regional coverage include... It's probably the Giants for us. Yeah, it's Astros Giants. So how did we how did we get here? Bliss singles to left. 
Crawford walks, moving Bliss to second. Rojas singles to left, Crawford to second, Bliss to third. Uh, Julio strikes out. That's a good opportunity for him, but he strikes out. And uh, now it's one out. Thank you, Devin. And then now it's uh, Michael Kopeck pitching to Cal Raleigh. The big dumper can dump one to the seats. Mariners would love to see that kind of offense. All right, box one of six. Good luck, everybody. So no paper ships, but all of this chrome will ship. There's Royce Lewis. That will ship, though. That's still Washington Juan Soto to four ninety nine. I think there's one atomic non-numbered per box. One auto a box. Juan Soto will go to Matthew, Shira, and uh, the Nats. Cal Raleigh strikes out looking. Hmm. All right, it's up to you, Mitch Hanniger. The base is loaded. There's Alexander Ramirez to 125. So I've not seen our autograph yet. Service just got tossed. Was not a good, not a good pitch. Maybe arguing the balls and strikes. And return of the Mac, Mac Wainwright. Reds, Tara with the Reds. Are we for are we for robot umps to call balls and strikes now? I feel like it's reaching that point. Here's a Christian Pache Braves edition, fifteen out of twenty five. Sorting and a shipping team will top load all of those sleeved cards. Ooh, two run single. Says Devin. Mitch Hanniger with that two run single? If Seattle can get a little offense going. With that pitching staff, that could be uh, could be a dangerous team. Oh, there's my ESPN just updated now. Astros have runners on first and second, top of the ninth. Hmm, this is an NBC broadcast. They have two white dots. Does that indicate outs or does do that? Oh, I'm assuming they'd have to be filled in with yellow to indicate it now. Jose Abreu is back with the Astros. I don't know 
know if I'd want an old robot ump just yet. I don't know if I want to jump to that, but I do think um, some sort of challenge, they're already working on this in, the, in AAA, but some sort of challenge system. Wow. Marriage playing a little small ball with two outs. That's a bold bunt with two outs. So Rayleigh with the bunt single, all tied up. Nick Lofton refractor to 499. That's for the Royals. That would be for Sean Keith. Like Tyler Locklear is a good count. Three and one. Shoot, I wasn't paying attention to what happened to the Astros fans game. Maybe they're changing pitchers. And there's Jeremy De La Rosa. 102 out of 150. You know, at this point, it's probably worth looking up these players, seeing where they're at. This is 2021, so what? We're. Uh, what three three years down the road here? Jeremy De La Rosa is number twenty four in the Washington National System. Still in high A. I guess he's still pretty young. He's only twenty two years old. He's in high A. Uh, it was a pitching change. There's Robert Hassel, purple paper to 250, still Padres edition there. Oh, he's on the Nationals right now, currently. I have this list still up. He's number eight in the organization. He's in double A. Might get a cup of coffee later, later this year. Kind of crazy that... The, Padres gave so many prospects for, for Juan Soto and just ended up not holding on to him. Maybe you never wanted to be on the West Coast in the first place, but we got Bobby Miller. Nice gold shimmer. Two out of 50 for my Dodgers. He's making his way back from the IL. Tristan with my Dodgers. Locklear got hit by a pitch. Wow. And they made a pitching change. Mariners might take the lead in this inning here. They better. All right, another box. In the brim of the helmet? Jeez. 
That's scary. Ah, so on the NBC broadcast, if they're blank circles, no outs. And if they're filled in, then they're out. I thought they would turn yellow. Just like when a base is, because the base are just blank squares. And then when there's a man on base, it turns into a yellow square. I thought they'd do the same thing with the outs, but no, they're not. I'm sure there's a reason for that. Mariners are a team that, you know, that has a clear need. They need a little more offense. Let's see if they'll let's see what they'll do with that by the trade deadline. Looks like, looks like Canzone grounded out, ending the inning tied at fours in Seattle. Still tied at ones in San Francisco. They got a runner on first, two outs, Casey Schmidt. Trying to walk it off for the Giants. And there's Dylan McLean. 15 out of 50. Bye, bye, Miss America. Bye. That's Don McLean, not Dylan McLean. But this will go to Texas. That'll be for Allen. There's Ed Howard, 24 out of 99, green mini diamond. I don't know if someone has done this yet, but I, I guess this player wouldn't have done it. Uh, Dodgers, Dodgers, Yankees. Dodgers were up big on the Yankees late in the game. Here's Nicola Dolo. So they had Oswaldo Cabrera, I think. Um, Lodolo will go to the Reds. That'll be Fatara. And uh, they, got, they got him to, uh, you know, as it was a position player pitching sort of situation. They didn't want to kill the bullpen. But, you know, he eventually got, he, I think he issued like three walks in a row, but eventually got a couple guys to pop out. And here's Jared Kelly of the White Sox, Michael Jones, who was running off the field. I suppose if, if it was the other way around, if the Yankees had a big lead and then they had a position player pitching or something like that, it would have been funny if he had the ump check his hands for like sticky stuff. But he didn't do that. I was like, I saw him jogging off. I was like, oh, please do it. The ump didn't even check. You Darvish to 399, green paper. And Trent DeVoe to 150, blue for the Angels. It's David with the Halos and 
Michael Jones with Cubs U Darvish. safe, I think. Cabbage. Cabbage was involved with a weird play. Was it in this stadium or was it maybe it was somewhere else? Maybe it was a couple days ago when they were in, I think they were in Anaheim. Or no, maybe it was this Giants game. Anyway, so no, I think it was Anaheim because Logan O'Hoppy hit a home run. A walk-off home run. It went deep into left field, and Astros left fielder, I don't know what his first name is, but last name Cabbage, that's the memorable part of his name. So Cabbage goes, goes running into the Cabbage Patch. <laughs> Actually, that'd be kind of cool if, if he was a, a star outfielder. You'd think the, they'd name the outfield section Cabbage Patch. But anyway, he, he was on the road anyway, but goes into the stands. It looked like he caught the ball. But he came up, he, he was like a row or two deep into the stand. It looked like he caught the ball. He came out, shaking his head, hands on his knees. Some little kid comes up with the ball and is, uh, and is, uh, is, is super happy. Looked like the ball fell out of his glove and trickled away. But I wonder if, we, if, it did, if he still dropped it and it didn't trickle away, and then he kind of picked it back up and was like, hey, I, I got it. What was the ruling on that thing? You couldn't replay it because it'd be kind of hidden from the field of play. You know, could you trust the fans? They're probably going to be yelling, no, he picked it up, he picked it up. But there'd be no way to prove that. There are the opposing fans. But it looks like it scored in a, enough away away from him where he, where he couldn't do that. And there's our auto, that's uh, Brady Encarnacion. Tristan with the Marlins. And there's James Beard, 49 out of 250. No beard on James Beard. It's a missed opportunity. Purple paper for the White Sox, Michael with the White Sox.
Yeah. Nicoladolo Aqua Shimmer to 125. It'll be for the red. That's going to go to Terra. Two boxes to go. <coughs> Mariners have two outs in the top of the ninth, but two on, and Luis Robert up to bat. But Stanek is ahead of Robert 0-2. The Astros Giants game you're hearing the audio in the background. Tied at one, Astros have runners on the corner. Top of the tenth. And two boxes to go here. Um, I don't know if I was on ESPN.com, but MLB.com has ha has some really interesting features. I'm not sure why not showing. Oh, maybe I have to be signed in. But there is a 3D feature that MLB.com has, which is really interesting. It it looks like kind of it, it's not very visually sophisticated, you know, but. If you got a decent internet connection, it'll show you like real time like pitching speed. So like it'll look like you know the batter view looking out to the pitcher like you see on a lot of you know like MLB Game Day or GameCast for ESPN or whatever. And you see like the little dots show up where the pitches are. But like the 3D feature actually shows the pitch coming in and you can kind of get an idea of what it's like to step in the box against some of the top pitchers in the league. It's kind of fun to watch that way. They also have, um, they track all the players on the field. And there's like a little animation of the ball moving around the infield. So like I could see the White Sox players warming up in the infield. <laughs> but they're represented by little squares and little dots. And the baseball will even, like if it bounces on the ground, it, like you can see like little extra dots, like a little trail showing you where it's at. It's really kind of cool. Sometimes when they when they win, you can see all like the little position boxes going to the mound, or sometimes you see all the all the position boxes going to like one side of the infield. And it's like, oh, maybe that's a fight. MLB.com stepping up their uh, their game day game. And we got a Jaron Duran Duran, 124 out of 199. Hungry like the wolf. Her name is Rio and she Albert with the Red Sox.
And Maximo Acosta to 2.99 is your uh, autograph. Speckle, Texas, Alan Murdoch. Where's uh, where's he at? Is he not on the Ranger anymore? No, still with the Rangers in Double A. Not not doing very well. I don't think he's even in the Rangers top thirty. He was a big prospect at one at one point. But we'll see. Maybe maybe he can bounce back. Sometimes some guys are late bloomers. All right, final box coming up. Not a lot of baseball games today. How did my fantasy team do today? I've got a very narrow lead for first. In my fantasy league. It's a roto league, 16 teams. I am still first, but I was at 135 points in my roto league just a couple days ago. I'm down to 125, still leading the league by one and a half points. So, wild swings each day. So, it looks like some other teams are just right behind me and some stats. Full, full slate of baseball, I think, tomorrow, so you know, I'll catch up there. Got some injuries. It's hard to add players in a 16-team league. Clark, Clark Schmidt going down was a bit of a bummer. Ryan Weathers for Miami, if you're looking for some pitching in your fantasy leagues, was playing great. But they put him on the IL. I think precautionary. I think it was he's a lefty, left index finger soreness or something like that. I guess bad enough to bad enough to put him on the IL. I don't think they expect it to be serious though. All right, final box, final autograph, and hopefully some nice, uh, some nice color here. Good luck, everybody. I forget what's happening next, but it's on the schedule. I need the schedule as well, but that's pinned in the chat, in the YouTube chat, so go and check that out. 
had a really busy day today, wall-to-wall -wall breaks, but we only have two more orders coming in, so it looks like we're slowing down a little bit. But thanks everybody for your great efforts today. Looks like uh, people are responding well to our brand new promo, the Chase the Mantle promo. Looks like people like it, judging from the orders. So appreciate everybody getting into all of that. Well, check the schedule, Justin. What does that say? Click the, click the link in the pinned in the chat. You don't have to hope. You can know. Knowledge is power. We don't, want, we don't like keeping people in the dark. It's Josiah Gray, 70 out of 150, blue. Whoa, and a red paper, Leover Paguero. That's a train whistle, nice. Five out of five, Pirates. Harry, congrats. And all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. Nice. Snap, okay, great, Justin. Good, thanks for checking the schedule. And busy days like this, that's where the schedule does become a big help. And as always, folks, uh, as I wrap up this break here, remember to to follow us on YouTube, on Twitter, Instagram, at Jaspies Breaks is the handle. There's Austin Cox. For Sean Keith and the Kansas City Royals, how big do you think this Cox is? 6'4", 185. Decent sized Cox. Austin Cox, that is. Tanner Hawk, I think he's been pitching decently this year, right? 28 out of 250, purple paper. Nick Lofton to 499. All right. Great, that's the break. Whoa. Is that right? Devin's reporting a grand slam by the big dumper. Wow. There it is. So Ryan Bliss grounds out. JP Crawford walks. Josh Rojas walks. Julio Rodriguez singles. And then on a 2 0 count. On a 2-0 count, I don't know who's pitching right now, but but whoever the White Sox pitcher is, I guess grooved a 94.7 mile per hour fastball. I'm looking at the looking at the MLB uh, game day. It's middle middle. Can't do that. All right, here's a quick recap. And now let's uh, run the randomizer. Let's see who gets to uh, chase the mantle. So let's flip back over to the list right here. Let's gather everybody's names. New, di oh, new dice, new list. And name on top after nine. Four and a five, nine times, good luck. You can see the timestamp right there for, the, uh, for this break, 23 minute mark. Good luck everybody. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
and ninth and final time. A lot of sad faces here, but don't worry folks, there's a lot of opportunities to try to win your way in. So do not despair. Try again next time, please. Thank you. So after nine, congrats to Devin. Devin, you're chasing the mantle. Good luck. I'm Joe. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.